Today I'm going to share a simple 3D printing tip that saved me so much time and so much filament. When you're designing a 3D printed object that has to interact with something in the real world and has to fit perfectly, there's a lot that can go wrong. It might be a complex shape, you might be printing with materials that shrink, or you might just have bad calipers. But for whatever reason, it doesn't quite fit. So you tweak your design and print it again, you're still not quite there, you have another go over and over again. And every time something's not quite right, you're wasting filament. So instead of doing that, just print the critical bit. Everything has what I'm going to call the critical dimension. It's the bit which has to be right. It has to fit the real world object. All you have to do is work out which part of the object that is. Let me give you some examples. Let's start with a simple one. This is just a Gridfinity bin designed to hold a couple of spray bottles. If you don't know what Gridfinity is, I've spoken about it in a previous video. I'll put a link up here. The critical dimension with this one is the holes where the bottles go in. They need to be the right size, otherwise either the bottles don't go in at all or they flop around. I've got another example here. This is the grid for the uh, video light that's just up there. This narrows the beam down, but it has to fit onto the reflector that comes with the light. So this inner ring here has to be exactly right. You want it to click on and stay there. Quite a bit of material in this, so rather than printing the whole thing, trying it out, adjusting, printing it again, I just printed this bit. It's only about a millimeter thick, so there's only a gram or two of filament in this, but this is the crucial bit. This is the bit which has to fit. The first two tries were slightly off. They weren't snug enough, but the third time I got it right. That's six grams wasted rather than a few hundred wasted. So how do you print just this bit? Well, I find the easiest way is in the slicer itself. So let's go on the computer and take a look. This is the example we're going to use. This is a Gridfinity bin I made to store a mechanical pencil set. The critical dimension for this one is where we store the spare leads and the erasers. So I measured up those parts and got all the dimensions into my CAD model. And then it was time to test those dimensions. Here we are in Bamboo Studio. This is my slicer of choice, but everything I show you now will work in the other slicers. As you can see, this is quite a big print. It's nearly 140 grams, so you want to get your measurements tested before you print the whole thing. All we really need to get right here are the holes where these things fit in. So we're gonna make some edits to the model here so we only print the bit we need to test. Let's begin with slicing off the top. Select the model and click the cut button up in the menu or use the keyboard shortcut C. And that'll bring up these handles. If you grab this one and drag it down just enough to get rid of that top bit we don't want to print and click perform cut. I then select the bit I want to get rid of and hit delete. Now, obviously I still don't want to print all of that. I could perform another cut and just take the top layers off of this or I could do it the easy way. Highlight what's left of your model and select the move tool or just click M. Now click the blue arrow, which is the Z axis and drag the object down below the build plate and then drag it back up slightly, just above the build plate, just a few layers worth. And if I slice what's left, that's eight and a half grams and about a quarter of an hour of print time. This might seem pretty obvious now I've told you, but I don't see many people new to 3D printing doing this. They tend to print the whole thing. But why is that? Well, my theory is people don't want to intentionally waste filament. By doing it this way, you're guaranteed to be throwing stuff away. Even if you get it right on the first go, your test print is getting binned. It's tempting to just print the model. Because if you get it right first go, bingo, nothing wasted. But the odds of you getting something with a, a crucial dimension right on the first print is pretty slim, especially if you're new to CAT. By deliberately wasting a tiny amount of filament, you're actually saving in the long run. If that was helpful, let me know down in the comments. And if you want to see more 3D printing content from me, click that subscribe button and ring that bell. There's more coming. But for now, that's it from me. I'll see you next time. Bye.